It is strawberry season here in Western New York. While most crops are being damaged by the lack of water, the strawberry crop is thriving. News Force Kaylee went traveled to Greg's U Pick to learn more. Hey, Kaylee. Hey, Nalina. The peak of strawberry season falls in the month of June, and at Greg's and Clarence, it was obvious. Hundreds of people flocked to the strawberry fields today for a shot at the ripest berries. Fresh, locally grown fruit is not uncommon in upstate New York. Well known for our apples, we sometimes forget what other great fruit this area can grow. Greg at Greg's U Pick Farm has a field of strawberries that is ready to be gathered by you. We have a good crop of berries. They're very abundant. They're very sweet this year. Um, it's very dry right now, but we, we water berries. The berries thrive in hot and dry weather. This year, though, has been a challenge. And we put about an inch and a half of water on per week, per acre. We have 12 acres of, stra of strawberries that we water. Compared to last year, Spoth says it's like night and day. Last year, during the month of June, when we harvest most of our berries, I think we had 23 days out of the month of rain. This year we have had no rain. We just, we need rain so bad. The lack of rain hasn't stopped customers from flocking to his farm. We were just here yesterday and we already made nine pints of, of strawberry uh, jam and we ate the rest and gave some away. So we're back today to get some more. Consumers even believe the weather has helped to make the berries more delicious. It's so sweet. I think because it's been really hot maybe and so dry, but the berries are fabulous. Greg said that is true. Strawberries are a warm weather fruit and when it's hot, when it's warm and hot, they actually taste better. Along with the beautiful berries to pick, Spoth and his family have the farm set up so it's family friendly. We got a few animals for the kids to check out. They love that. And uh, we certainly try to accommodate the children, you know. To find out more information about Greg's U Pick Farm and other U Pick farms in the area, you can head to the Founded on Four section of our website. In Clarence, Kaylee Went, News 4. Greg and his family have been in charge of the farm for 29 years. In that time, Greg told me that this is the driest and warmest year he can remember. And with the upcoming heat forecasted for the weekend, the season could be unfortunately shortened significantly. In the studio, Kaylee Went, News 4. Nothing like fresh fruit looks delicious. Kaylee